This is Jean-Louis Galmont, a French lady who died at 122 years young. She is, on record, the oldest human to have lived on Earth. And to think that in the pre-modern world, humans were only expected to live till their 30s. Of course, medical advancements have allowed us to double, and in some cases, triple that number today. But while we humans are over here trying to find the elixir of life, some animals in the wild seem to be built for immortality. For example, in our venomous animal video, we talked about the Turiptosis dorni. Remember? The Benjamin Button jellyfish that essentially reverses its aging before it dies? If you haven't seen it, check out the link up here. So, which animals seem to be engineered to live forever? You're watching Explore Mode, and today we're going to talk about the longest living animals. Ming was an ocean quayhaw clam. It was born in 1499 and pulled up from the depths of the Icelandic coast in 2006, where it was resting. If Ming looks familiar to you, it's because quayhaw clams are, well, the clams in quayhaw chowder. But Ming isn't your typical mollusk. Ming has been clamming around for 507 years, going back to China's Ming Dynasty, hence its name. Experts believe that slow cell replacement is the key to Ming's longevity. Now, clams don't show very obvious signs of aging, and past a certain point, they stop growing. So how were experts so sure of Ming's age? Time for an Express Explorer explanation. Start the clock. Well, just like a tree has rings in its trunk, clams have band-like markings on their shells that provide a rough estimate of their age. Ocean koi hogs like Ming form new bands every year. If you look closely, you can notice different shades of lines on a clam shell. These variations in color are due to changing temperatures and food availability as seasons come and go. For example, rings on a clam are darker during fall and winter. The older the clam is, the slower the shell growth. Therefore, the distance of one ring to another is closer at the base of the shell than at the edges. Many people thought Ming had died at the hands of evil researchers that had ripped it open in the name of science, but that's not entirely true. Yes, yeah, scientists opened it up to verify its age and conduct some analysis, but Ming was already dead when they did it. See, Ming was picked off the Icelandic shelf along with 200 other clams who had to be frozen in order to be transported. The sect itself was enough to kill all the clams. But fear not, it's very plausible that there is another centuries-old clam out there. Al Wanamaker, one of the researchers, said, There's probably many others that are actually quite older. We just haven't found them yet. The Greenland shark is one of the world's largest carnivores, and now it proudly holds the title of the longest living vertebrate too. A study in 2016 published in the journal Science showed that they grow at a really slow pace and can only reach maturity after hitting their 100th birthday. Most of them mate after hitting 150 years old. Now, the age of a fish is usually calculated by counting the natural growth rings in fish otoliths. These are small calcium carbonate ear stones found in the back of a fish's brain. However, Greenland sharks do not have otoliths. So scientists have to closely examine the lenses on the shark's eyes to figure out how old they are. During the research we mentioned, a team from the University of Copenhagen conducted experiments on a group of 28 female Greenland sharks that had been collected as bycatch between 2010 and 2013. Results showed that the largest shark examined could be either 272 years young or up to 512 years old. So how did they figure this out? Well, the process is a bit complicated, but let us narrow it down for you. Time for an Express Explorer explanation. Start the clock. The lens of a Greenland shark's eye is made of proteins, which build up over time. This means that the proteins at the center of the lens are usually the oldest ones. Examining these proteins allows scientists to determine the age of a Greenland shark. In the case of the research we mentioned, scientists used radiocarbon dating. This is a process that uses measurements of carbon-14 present in living organisms or archaeological finds to roughly estimate their age. Bowhead whales are huge creatures that live in the icy cold Arctic. They can grow to be 15 to 18 meters or about 50 to 60 feet long. That's roughly 10 times the average height of a human adult. Bowhead whales have the largest mouth in the animal kingdom. It takes up to one-third of their body. 
Like the Greenland shark, the bowhead whale's lifespan can be determined through the analysis of eye tissue. Their longevity is mainly due to their cells' capacity to repair their own DNA. Stone harpoon tips from the 19th century recovered from the blubber of some whales prove that these giants can live for centuries. In May 2007, a group of Eskimo hunters found harpoon tips in bowhead whales estimated to be manufactured between 1885 and 1895. One specimen was suggested to be 211 years old, while the others were estimated to be around 135 to 172 years old. Whaling is mostly illegal nowadays, yet some Alaska natives are still practicing bowhead whale hunting. This is known as subsistence whaling. They're only allowed to hunt down a limited amount of whales according to a quota set by the International Whaling Commission and the Alaska Eskimo Whaling Commission. According to the IWC, the current bowhead whale subsistence quota is set to 67. But not everyone who goes to Alaska can hunt down whales. You need a permit, and to get the permit, you have to be an Alaska resident and over 16 years old, or anyone under 16 who wants the license must have completed a basic hunter education course or be with someone over 16 who has completed it. So far, we have covered the longest living mollusk, vertebrate, and mammal. So, what's next? You've probably heard about pesky sea urchins, but do you know how long some of them can live? Red sea urchins are mostly found in the northeastern Pacific Ocean. It lives in shallow waters and feeds off of seaweed and algae found in the seabed. Scientists used to think that they could only live to be 7 to 15 years of age, but a 2003 study concluded otherwise. According to the study, which was published in the journal U.S. Fishery Bulletin, radiocarbon testing on some urchins found off the coast of British Columbia showed that these spiky echinoderms can live to be over 200 years old. Here's a mini-explore fact for you before we get into the next animal. The mouth of an urchin is called Aristotle's lantern, named after the philosopher who first described it. This is Adwaita, an Aldira tortoise who people believed was 255 years old. He was the oldest tortoise in the world, that is, until he died in 2005 after cracking his shell. These days, the world's longest living land animal is an Aldabra tortoise named Jonathan that was brought from the Seychelles to St. Helena, a tropical island in the South Atlantic Ocean in 1882. At the time, he was thought to be well over 50 years old, which means he would be almost 190 now. He's a bit of a celebrity in his hometown, too. His face and shell are on the five pence coins. Where is he now, you ask? Well, we know that he has been having some problems with his eyesight. However, his sense of smell and hearing are still in excellent condition. He is well-fed and well-loved. All happy days for Jonathan. There are other animals out there that may not live to be a century old, but are also worth mentioning. We want to give a shout out to these amazing creatures. Lin Wang, the oldest known elephant that ever lived, was 86 when he died. Wisdom, the oldest known wild bird, 69 years old and still breeding. And Yoda, the oldest known mouse, died at age 4. Thanks for watching Explore Mode. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. Also, check out our playlist to discover more things that you may not know. Before you leave, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell button so you get a notification whenever we upload a new episode. See you next week, and in the meantime, remember to keep your Explore Mode on!